the chakras. And, you know, most of you are probably um, pretty familiar with chakras in here. And if not, that's okay, too, because I'm going to give you a little crash course quick. So the chakras are the uh, seven main energetic centers in our body. And as we move through this yoga practice and we uh, move through the affirmations uh, specific for each chakra, we're going to go ahead and hold the intention to allow the energy to free flow through our chakras, bringing in some balance, bringing in some alignment, maybe clearing out some things. So first and foremost, right away, just have, hold that intention through this practice today to let the breath flow freely, let the energy flow freely, be the observer of anything that arises. Chakra is an ancient Sanskrit term that means wheel. So the chakras receive, store, and send information through the body along the energetic system pathways. And that goes down a whole nother rabbit hole. Uh, good morning, whoever said hello. Um, so yeah, the chakras, you know, they, they work independently, but they all work together too, just like most of our body systems. Um, and you can think of this as like another system in your body, like the, the nervous system or the circulatory system. You also have the chakra system. So each one, like I said, has specific functions and governs certain areas of the physical, emotional, and spiritual bodies, and they work together to influence each other. So today's practice is designed to bring awareness to each of the chakra centers and invite movement of the body and the energy with the intention to welcome balance within each chakra. The system as a whole and, of course, welcoming that free flow of energy. Think of this as kind of like a routine maintenance service. Okay, so go ahead and sit in your easy seated position. This is how a lot of yoga practices start. As you're sitting, if it's not available to cross your legs, that's that's okay. Or if it feels better to lay down for integration, that's okay too. Just find a spot. Find a spot where you can center in. <sighs> Notice where the points of your earth, points of the body are touching the earth. See if you can bring awareness to your seat. Any points in the legs that are touching the earth. As you take your next inhale, see if you can inhale, straighten the spine up. And as you exhale, relax the shoulders. And as you come into your body and come into the practice today, use your breath to clear out any thoughts, any to-do lists, any worries. Use the exhale to just push it to the side of the mat, to the other side of the door in the room that you're in. Use your breath to call your presence more fully into this moment now. Into your practice, into that intention of allowing the energy to flow freely through the body we move through the practice see if you can lengthen your inhales and exhales now maybe even filling into the belly and now as you're breathing imagine the earth is softening around you it's rising up to hold you Inhale the earth and its loving energy and feel it or see it as it grows around you. As you exhale, you sink deeper into the earth, feeling fully supported. Focus. 
fully protected, fully loved. Connect with this rise and surrender with the earth and invite this rooting, this grounding earth energy to illuminate that root chakra, the base of your spine, perineum area. Allow it to light up that root chakra red. Now bringing awareness to the top of your head. The ears are over the shoulders. The root chakra is glowing. Imagine your crown now radiating bright white light. Use this connection point to honor your universal energy and your divine intelligence. See if you can feel, imagine, or sense a free flow of inspiration, unity, divinity, and oneness with the universe. As you allow this connection to grow with each breath, Connected at the root, connected at the crown. See if you can take those inhales and exhales a little bit longer. As you inhale, inhale in and down to the root chakra. And as you exhale, imagine that flow of breath and energy flowing freely up through each chakra and out the crown. As you inhale, imagine drawing the breath through the crown and down to the root. And as you exhale, feeling that flow of energy and breath as it moves freely back up and out the crown. Play with this for several breath cycles. Keep your focus on that rhythmic breathing. Keep your awareness on the flow of prana and energy from chakra to chakra. Start bringing more awareness into the crown by taking the crown around in a circle. You can take it in a full circle as your shoulders are relaxed or you can go from side to side noticing in my body today that there is a kink in the right side. So I'm just going to pause there, taking an inhale around that kink and exhaling, imagining, straightening the kink out, and then moving on. Still going in that same direction, just telling the spine, hey, we're going to move. We're going to do a little moving. Wake up. Go ahead and switch the crown in the other direction. Sometimes as I'm doing this, I just visualize an actual, my actual crown making a circle, making a halo, a sparkly, almost like sparkler like halo around my head. Mmm, sweet. 
bringing yourself into that neutral seated position. Go ahead and inhale the arms up. Mm, reach up, stretch up. Connected to the crown and then take the hands towards the earth as you forward fold. Walking the hands back up to center and then taking the hands behind you, tenting the fingers, walking the hands back so that your elbows are straight and kind of turned in. And this is going to just push through the arms to open up the chest. You don't need to crank your head back all the way. In fact, you want to think length in the spine. And as you exhale, coming back to center, taking the soles of the feet together, butterfly, very familiar pose to many. As you're in butterfly here, still focusing on that crown chakra, so nice and straight through the spine. Imagining a line from the crown to the tailbone, the ears are over the shoulders. Imagining that opening in the crown as the pelvis experiences opening from your butterfly pose. And here as you breathe, invite in these affirmations. You can repeat them, you can breathe them in. Find what feels good for you. I go beyond my limiting beliefs and accept myself totally. I honor my body as the temple that nourishes my soul. I am divinely guided and inspired. I am infinite and boundless. Imagine that. Hmm. Take another inhale, and as you exhale, smile. You are infinite and boundless. Sending the legs straight out in front of you. We'll take an easy seated forward fold first. Inhale all the way up. Exhale forward fold, folding at the waist, keeping a fluidity in the knees. If you feel a stretch in the back of the knees, bend your knees. There should be no stretch in the back of your knees. You can round the spine or you can keep your alignment from the crown to the tailbone. Just options. And then inhale the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down to the side. Bring the right foot up to rest on the mat or the floor. Take the right foot to the outside of the left knee. Take a hold of your right ankle and pull it away from that left knee now so that the right knee falls over. The outside of the right knee is rested on the top of that left knee. And then if you need to, you can pull that leg back a little bit because if you notice that you are slouching, you don't want that. You want to be able to sit up straight without discomfort. And you may even notice here that you're already starting to feel that stretch. So now we're going to add the eagle arms, put your arms out in front of you like you're going to do the Macarena. Take your right arm and drop it into the left elbow, or right elbow into left elbow. Bend both of your elbows, turn your palms out, and then bring the palms in so that you can meet the palms. This may look like just grabbing a wrist, wherever you can find that eagle arm bound up here. Take your thumb and put it towards your third eye. And again, imagine the opening in the crown as you breathe. One more breath here. And exhale, go ahead and release the bind in the arms. Take the leg and send it straight. Both legs are straight out in front of you again, bending the left leg, 
So the left foot rests on the floor, left foot comes to the outside of the right knee, and then holding on to that left ankle, drawing it outwards so that the outside of that left knee rests on the top of the right knee. Again, if you need to readjust so that you can sit up straight, do that. And let's go ahead and do a little Macarena again. Send the arms out in front of you. This time the left elbow is going to drop into the right elbow. Bend, snap, twist, sass. <laughs> we don't get too serious in my classes. We like to breathe, but laughter is also beautiful medicine. So bind your arms up. Find your center. Notice how this may feel a little bit different than the other side. Make that observation without judgment. Take three mindful breaths here in this bind. Thumb at the third eye. Crown open and receiving. And as you exhale, release the bind in the arms, release the leg, and send both of the legs out straight again. So we're going to move into a child's pose. So however you can gently move into child's pose, do so. When you move into child's pose, then your big toes touch, your knees go wide. If this is not available, you can always bring the knees together and take that modified child's pose. But if you feel pretty good about your child's pose this morning, maybe just gently coming down first, taking a breath. <sighs> Noticing as you exhale how your body invites you a little bit deeper into your child's pose. Oh yeah. Child's pose is so awesome. It helps your body relax. It gives you a full stretch. It is fantastic. So here, as you're in child's pose, I want you to bring your awareness into that third eye now. That third eye is the space in between your eyebrows, two inches back that all-seeing eye, the eye on the inside. As you're here in child's pose, breathing into the awareness of the third eye, breathe in these affirmations. I see clearly. I am connected to the divine source of the universe. I always honor and follow my intuition. I invite sacred transformation. It is safe for me to see the truth. Ah, breathe that in one more time. And as you inhale, bring yourself up to a tabletop position, moving into down dog, okay? So once you get in your tabletop, just take your fingertips wide, plant the heels of those hands, tuck those toes under, and send those hips up and back into down dog. Your feet are about hip width distance apart. Your ears are in line with the triceps as your heart gravitates towards the earth, your navel tucks in, feeling that full back body stretch. This is another insanely amazing pose for the body. So breathe into this for a moment. Mm. Taking a nice big breath. And then as you exhale, bringing the feet towards the hands so you can end up in a forward fold. Take a breath here, pedal the legs out. Bowing to that inner wisdom of the third eye. 
If your feet are very close together, separate them a little bit. And then bring a really generous bend into the knees. We're going to root to rise, but root to rise slowly. Enjoy every single piece of support that stems from the feet and rises up through the body as you roll all the way up to standing. Arms come up overhead. It feels good to be alive. And as you exhale, forward fold. This time as you inhale, just lift halfway to a flat back. So the shoulders kind of go down the back a little bit and the, the pelvis kind of pushes back. It's very tempting to let your knees go really straight. See if you can keep the bend of the knees, but push down to lift up and back. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale to that halfway lift one more time. And then as you exhale, plant the hands. Send the feet back one at a time so that you can find a plank. If this plank isn't available to you, drop those knees. Keep the spine straight, navel's tucked in, the hips are kind of tucked towards the navel too. So you're creating that really nice engagement throughout the whole body and then tucking the elbows into the sides and lowering all the way down to the ground. We're moving through a sun A. Untucking the toes, keeping the hands underneath the shoulders and pushing the arms up straight as you look up towards the sky. This is up dog. If up dog is too much for your lower back, put your elbows where your hands were and just take a really nice little, little back bend. From your up dog then tuck your toes Send your hips up and back, returning to down dog. Inhale and then exhale into tabletop position. Awesome. From tabletop. We're going to do cat cows, but I want you to check in with your tabletop first. I want you to check and make sure that your shoulders are underneath your wrists, that your hips are underneath, or your hips are over your knees, tops of your feet are resting into the mat. And now as we move into a tabletop position, I want you to take a couple of breaths and bring awareness into that throat chakra. Feel the breath as it passes over that throat chakra. Neck is neutral. Now we will do some cat cows. So dropping the belly to cow as you inhale, drawing the crown and the tailbone towards each other as your navel drop towards the floor. And then as you exhale, drawing the crown and the tailbone towards each other as you tuck the navel up. Pushing through the arms. Moving through your cat cow. Oh, forgot to shut an alarm off, silly. That's my hydrating alarm. Make sure I'm hydrating. So moving through those cat cows again, this is just a beautiful pose for the spine, but also bringing awareness into that throat chakra, tucking the chin towards the chest, and then as you go into that cow, really opening the throat, you can even hear how that changes my voice. And now as you're breathing, and experiencing this movement, let's bring in the affirmations. I speak clearly. I speak up for myself. I express myself with clarity and confidence. When I speak, I do not back away from what is true. I express gratitude towards life. Mm. Coming back into your neutral tabletop position. 
sitting back on the bum on the heels interlocking the fingers keeping the elbows together and then pushing up opening the throat chakra and as you exhale coming back into that neutral tabletop position and then returning to down dog as you return to down dog find some stillness find your breath We're moving on to the root chakra so I invite you to really root down into the earth feel those points that are touching the earth that root chakra that foundation taking an inhale and as you exhale bringing the feet to the hands back to forward fold take your hands and make sure that your feet are hip width distance apart by setting making fists putting your thumbs together and then setting them in between your feet and if you can't fit your fists like that in between your feet separate your feet a little bit we want your feet hip width distance apart when we root to rise we're going to end up in chair and so we want to make sure that we're all set up Now again, rooting to rise, really pushing down into those roots, imagining that root chakra illuminating as you're inhaling, rolling up, feeling the support from your foundation as you inhale all the way up. Oh yeah, and then with your arms overhead, go ahead and bring your booty down. So we're going into chair the arms are up or you can have them here and you really want to try and get as much of that weight into your bum and into the heels as possible see if you can hold it here while we do these affirmations rooting down into the earth spine is straight I love being in my body I am centered and grounded I am at peace with the material world in which I live. I am able to let go of fear and know that I am eternally safe. Inhale, exhale, forward, fold. Take a moment to let those affirmations fall where they may as you feel that solid foundation of your roots underneath you. Hmm. Taking an inhale all the way up, root to rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. And then as you exhale, walk the hands and the feet out so that you can get that plank. Exhale, lower down. Untuck the toes, push up through the arms. Tuck the toes and return to down dog. We're going to move through a little bit of a warrior dance with that emphasis on the root chakra. So taking that right leg up, three-legged dog, hips are square with the ground, swinging that right leg through to plant in between the hands. Turning the left toes outwards so that left heel plants and then bringing a nice bend into the knee. Building that foundation, rooting down in. When you're ready, inhale from that foundation, push down to lift up, arms go up overhead. <sighs> Root. Nice big inhale as you exhale, warrior two. Inhale the front palm up and then 
Rise it up towards the sky as you let that left hand slide down the back of your thigh for support. Exhale back to warrior two. Swing that left arm forward back to warrior one. And then exhale, bringing the hands down to frame the feet. Turn the toes in. Plant the hands now and shoot that right foot back. We're ending here in plank again. Lowering down, feeling the blood pumping. The muscles working. Up dog to down dog. Awesome. So from your down dog, again, three-legged dog with the left leg this time. Left leg goes up, swings through to plant in between the feet. Right toes turn out, building that solid foundation from which to rise. Push down to lift up into warrior one. You feeling powerful yet? And if not, that's okay. Keep moving. Keep breathing. As you exhale, open those arms up to that warrior two. Looking out over the bright future we have ahead of us. Still breathing. Inhale. The hand up towards the sky. Palm faces back this way. And return to that warrior one, two, excuse me, rooted. And then return to that warrior one, really pushing in to the back outer edge of that back foot, rooting down into that front foot. And exhale, bring the hands down to frame the feet, turn the toes in, send that left foot back. And lower down into plank. Lower down from your plank. Keep flowing through this sun A till you find yourself back in down dog. All right. So if you notice, we jumped from the third eye down to the root. And we're working our way back up because we end in the heart. All right, go ahead and take an inhale. And as you exhale, exhale to your plank. Engage, breathe, and grow that glowing orange orb known as the sacral chakra that's in your pelvis space, your womb space if you have it. That sacral chakra, imagine the breath. Breathing into that go ahead and bring the knees down if you want to keeping that sacral chakra engaged growing that creative fire and then go ahead and lower all the way down find that up dog and then tuck the toes and return to down dog. From down dog here, I really want you to focus in on that sacral chakra. Breathe big. And here we go with some affirmations. I am alive, connected, and aware. I embrace pleasure and abundance. I give myself to enjoy, give myself permission to enjoy my sexuality fully. The sweetness of life flows through me and I radiate its joy. Taking a nice inhale. As you exhale, bring the feet to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. As you inhale, rise all the way up. Find your standing position with your feet separated a little bit. <sighs> inhale, the arms all the way up. 
and see if you can raise that right knee. See if you can bring your hands around and hug that right knee up. And then go ahead and release that. Again, inhaling all the way up. Bring the hand down, seeing you can keep that balance rooting down through the foot, straight through the spine. And exhale, release that. And I'm gonna give you a little challenge for balance today. So we're gonna do dancer pose, and this is a good one for the sacral chakra, which is what we're still kind of focusing on here in this practice, uh, in this portion of the practice. So dancer pose can be a little bit tricky. So if you attempt it and it doesn't work, that's okay. Inhale all the way up. As you exhale, bring the right hand down, bring the right foot up and grab it. And then see if you can root down in that foot, kick into the hand and lean forward. Dancer, sacral chakra. And then bringing it back down, shaking it out. Let's try the other side. Focus on your breath. Focus on a focal point on the earth. And moving on. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Walk the hands out so you can end up in plank. And then bring the knees down so that you can return to child's pose. Returning to child's pose. Taking a couple breaths here as we got quite invigorated there. And as you're breathing, as you're in child's pose, bring awareness into your solar plexus. That is spot below the diaphragm, above the navel, confidence center. I always like to think of it as a bright yellow sunshine. And as you're breathing here in child's pose, let's infuse the solar plexus with some affirmations. I am confident in all that I do. I stand up for myself. I respect myself at all times. I choose health, healing, and happiness. I act with courage and strength. I deserve a wonderful life. Breathe that in. Exhale any resistance. Again, breathing. And then as you exhale, come up to your tabletop position. into what we call bird dogs. So, notice I'm kind of sussing around, finding, finding my earth groove. We're gonna work to illuminate that solar plexus. So send the right leg out long, send the left arm out long. Take a nice big inhale and squeeze the knee and the elbow together. Inhale. Lengthen, exhale, squeeze. So imagine this just like pumping fire, heat, inspiration into that solar plexus. One more time on the side. And then coming back into your tabletop, switching sides, sending the left leg long, sending the right arm long, neck is neutral. You're engaged from that fingertip to the shoulder, from the hip to the toe. That core is providing that cohesiveness and that energy as you 
Exhale, bring the knee to the elbow. Pump that solar plexus, bright yellow. Keep growing that yellow glow as we move and bringing it into tabletop position. Starting to move to the end of the practice. We're getting so close to that beautiful Shavasana. But first, let's let that solar plexus shine just a little bit more. Coming up onto the knees, tucking the toes under, inhaling the arms up, letting the right arm reach back, keeping the abs engaged just a little bit to help protect your lower back. If you wanna bring the left hand all the way down and let the solar plexus shine, you can do that. Just make sure that there's length in the spine. You're not cranking your neck back. Or if you keep one arm up, you inhale and then exhale and switch. Swing the top arm back, the front arm forward, just to help bring a little ease into this camel. One more time if you're switching. And then take the hand that's on your ankle and slowly bring it up and then slowly straighten your spine out. So we're gonna go to our bums. Go to your bum. Moving to the back. We're gonna get, hit the floor in boat pose. So lean back. See if you can point those toes Spine is straight. If you notice, I have my fingertips here. This is still difficult for me. So give yourself some time and then see if you can lower down using the core. <sighs> awesome. Okay, so from your back here, we're gonna take bridge. And as we take bridge, we will infuse the heart chakra. So before we even set up for bridge, take a moment here with your feet rested on the mat, breathing, feeling that heart chakra open up. We're ending in the heart. All begins and ends with love. And then as you're ready, Keep your feet in line with the mat. Keep your heels a little bit closer to your bum. And then as you walk your shoulders down your back just a little bit too. Because then as you inhale, push down through your feet to lift up the hips. Squeeze those glutes together. That's where you can get that yoga booty. Interlock your fingers underneath as you let your arms go long. Imagine this just opening that heart chakra, love pouring out and in. Keep the knees close together. Don't let them fall open. And then as you exhale, lower down. Go ahead and hug the knees into the chest. Bring the feet down to rest on the mat. Walk the feet a little bit further away from the hips. Then take the arms out so you can do windshield wipers. So that's just simply letting the knees fall to one side, letting the knees fall to the other side. You'll notice that the sides of my feet keep contact with the earth. Ah, breathing, letting that heart chakra be nice and open. bringing the knees back to neutral and then sending the legs straight up and long. Now I always like to lean back and like rest my hands underneath my sacrum there. It helps just to tilt my hips a little bit better so that way I can enjoy this legs up the wall. 
Your legs don't have to be super, super tight. You can have a, a generous bend in them. It's just getting those feet up overhead, inversion. Nice big inhale. And then as you exhale, go ahead and bring the feet down to the earth. Draw the soles of the feet together and let the knees fall open. This is Supta Baddha Konasana. This is where we're going to infuse our heart chakra with some affirmations. So find your Supta Baddha Konasana, your reclined butterfly. See if you can walk the shoulders down a little bit so your whole upper body is relaxed. Your arms are open wide ready to receive and as you lay there breathe in big I am kind to myself I allow love to fill me up and guide me in all of my actions I am able to let go of the past to forgive myself and others I love myself and others fearlessly. Breathe that in. And then on your next inhale, stretch the arms up overhead. Let the legs go long. Take a full body stretch. Stay here in this full body stretch and just breathe and just feel the expansiveness and then let the hands and the arms slowly come down to rest by your side, entering into Shavasana for our practice today. Energy free flowing through each of the chakras. The blood is pumping. The tissues are nourished. The muscles are activated. Take a couple breaths here. See where you can release tension within the body. Maybe you can walk the shoulders down the mat a little bit. Maybe you can let the legs relax into the support beneath them a little bit more. Find your relaxing Shavasana and bring in that breath. Big full inhales. Fully releasing exhales. And as you lie peacefully in stillness in Shavasana, we'll travel through each of the chakras one more time to nourish them with affirmations. All you have to do is lay here and breathe. Bringing awareness into the crown chakra. Breathe into that chakra. I am an expression of the divine. I go beyond my limiting beliefs and accept myself totally. I honor my body as the temple that nourishes my soul. I am divinely guided and inspired. I am infinite and boundless. Take a big breath in. Release the awareness around the crown chakra and move into the third eye. Imagine the third eye glowing radiating truth I see clearly I am connected to the divine source of the universe I always honor and follow my intuition I invite sacred transformation it is safe for me to see the truth breathe that into that third eye chakra and as you exhale, release the awareness. Moving down to that throat chakra. As you inhale, feeling the air pass through the throat. 
Maybe imagining a blue orb. I speak up for myself. I express myself with clarity and confidence. When I speak, I do not back away from what is true. I express gratitude toward life. Breathe it in. Yeah. Dropping all the way down to the root chakra now. Glowing, red, connected, supported. I am safe and protected. I love being in my body. I am centered and grounded. <clears throat> I am at peace with the material world in which I live. I am able to let go of fear and know that I am eternally safe. Breathe that into that root chakra. Watch it glow brighter. As you inhale, inhale your awareness up into the sacral chakra, spot in between the pubic bone and the navel orange. Hmm, pleasure and abundance. I am alive, connected, and aware. I embrace pleasure and abundance. I give myself permission to enjoy my sexuality fully. The sweetness of life flows through me and I radiate its joy. Breathe that into the sacral chakra, illuminate it with abundance and creativity. Bringing the awareness now up into that solar plexus the internal sunshine. I am confident in all that I do. I stand up for myself. I respect myself at all times. I choose health, healing, and happiness. I act with courage and strength. I deserve a wonderful life. Inhaling, Letting that illuminate your solar plexus and radiate out into the world. Hmm. And last but not least, drop into your heart. Drop into that heart space. Hmm. I am kind to myself. I allow love to fill me up and guide me in all of my actions. I am able to let go of the past, to forgive myself and others. I love myself and others fearlessly. Let that fill your heart up. Now imagine the breath and the energy freely flowing in and out of each chakra, gracefully, fluidly. Just allow, just be, just breathe. And I will call you back. Imagine the prana flowing through each chakra.
Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Gentle, gentle movements. Go ahead and inhale and send the arms and the legs long, full body stretch as you take in a really nice full breath. Hmm. Rolling onto your right side so that you can pause here for another moment, maybe curling up in that little fetal position to get that vagus nerve stimulated a little bit. But really, on your side here, pausing and taking a moment to acknowledge yourself for showing up for this practice, for showing up for yourself, for giving yourself the medicine of movement. When you're ready, gently push yourself up to seated and we'll seal in this practice together. As you rise up to seated, know that you just created a new beginning for yourself here on the mat. You can walk out into the rest of your day with. Inhale the arms up, palms meet, draw down into heart center. Again, inhale, arms up overhead, maybe fortifying that rose quartz bubble. We can build around us so that nothing less than love can come in and nothing less than love can go out. And one last time, inhaling. Palms meet down in the heart center. May you be safe and protected. May you be healthy and nourished. May you love and be loved and may you truly be happy. Namaste. Hmm. Awesome. So I did skip the meta meditation because then we would have been here for like an hour and a half and I don't want to take up that much time this morning. Um, so there is the uh, yoga, uh, the chakra yoga. Um, I hope that wherever this practice has found you, you can find some peace and stillness within through movement.